Hi, welcome back. This is Rakesh Naik. Today we are going to discuss about reliability problem. It is an application of dynamic programming. But before we start, a small information I'd like to share. In this channel, we produce every video in two different languages. If you want to watch this video in Hindi, kindly follow the link given in the description. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get regular updates from this channel. So, let us start. Before going to understand what is a reliability, let us try to understand it. When we go to purchase something, we ask the shopkeeper, is it reliable? What is the meaning of that? It means we wanted to know how often it will work fine or in the other way, how often it will fail. If we fail more often, it is less reliable. Basically, if we are having a system and there are few components that is connected in a series, then the input we are given to D1, output of D1 is given as input of D2, then output of D2 is given as input of D3. Similarly, the output of Dn goes as the output of the whole system. But in this system, what happens? The reliability becomes less. Why? If any system fails in between, the total production or the total output will also be not coming. It means the cost is low, reliability is also low. Here we generally we say if Ri is a reliability of device i, then the reliability is product of all the reliability. It means if R1 is the reliability of D1, R2 is the reliability of D2, and if Rn is the reliability of Dn, and then the reliability of the entire system is R1 into R2 up to Rn. Now in order to enhance the reliability, what generally we do, we keep spare machine so that whenever some device fails, it will be helpful. By the time the machine get repaired, we use the standby so that the system's reliability will increase. It means it will not hamper much for our production. So in order to enhance the reliability, we keep some spare machines. Here in this case, there are three more machines for D1 we kept, two more machines of D2 we kept and three more machines of Dn we kept. But when we keep a spare machine, it costs some more money. So it increases the cost as well as it increases the reliability. Now if mi number of devices we are having for Di and all of them are connected in parallel and each of them have having reliability Ri, if I know R1 is the reliability of D1, then if three D1 are there, what will be its reliability? How to find? If Ri is the reliability of ith machine, then 1 minus Ri will give the probability of malfunction. And if Mi number of machines are there, 1 minus Ri to the power Mi will be the probability that all the machines will be malfunctioning. And if I'll take one minus on that, I'll get the reliability of all the machines connected in parallel. So it means if R1 is the reliability of D1 and I'm having three machines in parallel, then I can say the reliability of three machines of D1 will be one minus one minus R1 to the power three. Now these are my basic understanding. Let us try to understand with the help of an example how it increases the reliability. Let us say for D1 the cost is C1 and the reliability is 0.8. Let me take one more machine of D1. What will happen whether the reliability is increasing or decreasing? Let us see. The formula that I am having is this one and if I apply 0.8 here I am getting 0.96. It means with two machine of D1, the reliability increased from 0.8 to 0.96. So obviously it is giving me an enhanced reliability when more than one system are kept in parallel. Now these are the basic things that we have understood before having reliability design. Now what is the problem basically? The problem is we are having a system in that we want to enhance the reliability by purchasing duplicate machines or standby machine 
for each machine of our system and a budget is given let us say c is the budget given and ci is the cost of each machine and i am buying mi number of copies of each device then we want to maximize the reliability of the total system and the constraint is we need to spend only c amount or the budgeted amount that it is allowed and the mi supposed to be integer it means i cannot buy a fraction of a machine if i want to buy i'll buy full otherwise i'll not buy so i'll say this is the reliability function and this is the allowable cost now let us try to understand this with the help of an example let us say we are given with three machines d1 d2 d3 and the costs are 30 15 and 20 respectively and the reliability is 0 0.9 0 0.8 and 0.5 respectively we are given with a budget of 105 and we want to use 105 rupees and buy some d1 some d2 and some d3 so that so that the total reliability of the system will increase before doing that we must have one more thing with 105 rupees how many more d1 i can purchase how many more d2 i can purchase how many more d3 i can purchase so i have to find a upper bound this formula i am going to use to find the upper bound so upper bound for d1 let us say the first machine the budgeted cost is 105 c1 is the cost for first machine and the sum of all the costs are 30 plus 15 plus 20 and it is divided by 30 it is the cost of the first machine so i got 2 similarly for the second machine i will be getting 3 and the third machine i will be getting 3 it means d1 2 more machine i can buy d2 3 more machine i can buy and d3 3 more machine i can buy now in order to do the problem i will be using two notations one is si and another is sij so si i will represent to the pair that is r and x r is the reliability and x is the cost and i will be finding sij from the previous si minus 1 si means i number of machines and j number of copy of machine i let us try to do this i will begin with s0 and take the reliability to be 1 and cost to be 0 as i am multiplying the reliability i have to take 1 here now by using this initial values i will be thinking about how many machine 1 i can purchase as i have taken that u value is 2 so i can take either 1 or 2 it means i can purchase 1 or 2 number of machine 1 that is d1 so i will be finding sij it means s11 and s12 s11 means what s11 means one device of d1 so as i know the reliability of one device of d1 is 0 0.9 so without using the formula also I will be getting 0 0.9 and the reliability I will multiply with, with 1 and the cost I will add with 0. 30 is the cost of first machine. So I am getting 1 into 0 0.9 and 0 plus 30. So I am getting S11 to be 0 0.9 and 30. The next thing I will be getting S12. It means two devices of D1 I want to purchase. Now, if I am purchasing two devices of D1, what is the reliability? The reliability will be 1 minus 1 minus R1 square. So, it becomes 0 0.99. As I am purchasing two machine of device 1, the cost will be 30 into 2, that is 60. So, I am going to use the cost 60 and the reliability 99 with 0 and 1. So, 1 into 0 0.99 and 0 plus 60. I am getting this as S12. I need not find S13 because the upper bound for first machine was 2. So I will be getting S1 by taking union of S11 and S12. So I am getting S1 to be 0 0.9 and 30, 0 0.99 and 60. Now I will be using S1 to find S21 and S22 and S23. Let us find them one after another. 
Let us take S21. It means what? One device of D2. For one device, the reliability is already given as 0.8. No need of calculating this. And for cost, for one device, the cost is 15. I am going to apply it. So 0.9 into the reliability here is 0.8. That is multiplied. And 30 is the cost. And 15 is the cost given here. So 30 plus 15. Similarly, 0 0.99 into 0 0.8 and 60 plus 15. So this is a pair I got. Next, I'll be finding S22. It means what? Two devices of D2. For two devices, the reliability will be 0 0.96. And for two devices, the cost will be 30. Because for one device, the cost is 15. So what I am going to do? The reliability I am going to multiply it with S1 and the cost I am going to add with the cost of S1. So 0 0.9 into 0 0.96 and 30 plus 30. 0 0.99 into 0 0.96 and 60 plus 30. I got this pair. Next I am going to find S23. It means 3 devices of D2. So the reliability will be 1 minus 1 minus 0 0.8 whole cube that is 0 0.992 and the cost will be 15 for each so 3 copies we are purchasing 45 so 0 0.9 into 0 0.992 and 30 plus 45 similarly 0 0.99 into 0 0.992 and 60 plus 45 we got these values we are going to take the union of these 3 and find S2 now here we need to see one more thing, dominance rule. What is dominance rule? If F1 and X1 is a pair and F2, X2 is another pair and if F1 is greater than equal to F2 and X1 is less than equal to X2, then I have to remove the first pair. Now for that, I need to write these pairs in sorted order. So if I want to write ascending order of their reliability, I'll get this data. Now let us apply dominance rule here. Now the reliability is 0.72. Here the reliability is 0.92. Reliability increased from 45 to 75 cost increase. Now 0.792 to 0.864 the reliability increased but here you see 75 to 60 the cost decreased. It means what? With 60 cost getting the reliability of 0.864 and with 75 cost, getting the reliability of 0 0.792. Which one is more? Obviously, this is more. So, we are going to remove this pair. So, after applying dominance rule, we will be having this answer for S2. Now, we will use this S2 to find S31, S32 and S33. Now, S31 means one device of device 3. And the cost always we know is 20 and the reliability is 0 0.5. To this data S2, I am going to multiply the reliability and going to add the cost. So 0 0.72 into 0 0.5 and 45 is the cost. To that I am adding 20. Similarly 0 0.864 into 0 0.5 and 60 is the cost here plus 20 is the cost of one device of D3. Similarly, we got all these values. Now you can see here 105 plus 20 is the cost of the last pair. It is 125. But the budgeted cost what we are given with is 105. So obviously we are going to eliminate this. So if you are eliminating this, we are getting S31 to be these sets. Now let us find S32. It means two devices of D3. The reliability will be what? reliability will be 0 0.75 as the two devices we are purchasing for one the cost is 20 for two it will be 40 so we are going to again multiply the reliability and add the cost here so we will be getting 0 0.72 into 0 0.75 and 45 plus 40 so like that if we we'll get again we can see 105 plus 40 75 plus 40 at least these two are more than the budgeted cost. So we are going to eliminate this two and find S32. 
Now S33. S33 means three devices of D3. For three device, the cost required is 60 because for one it is 20. And the reliability is 0.5. So for three devices, the reliability will be 0.875. Now, like previously, we'll be taking this data, multiply the reliability and add the cost. We are going to get this. Here also you can see 60 plus 60, 75 plus 60 and 105 plus 60. All the three will be more than the budgeted cost. So I am going to take one. So this is S33. So I am going to take S31, S32, S33 to find S3. How? By taking union. Again, I will be applying the dominance rule. But before that, we need to sort the data in ascending order according to their reliability. So we are getting the sorted data here. Now by applying dominance rule, let us see. 0 0.36 to 0 0.432 reliability increase 65 to 80 cost also increased 0 0.432 to 0 0.4464 reliability increased 80 to 95 cost also increased now 0 0.4464 to 0 0.54 the reliability increased and 95 to 85 the cost decreased it means what with less cost i am getting more reliability so I am going to remove this. Again, proceed like this. 0 0.54 is the reliability and 0 0.63 is the next reliability. The reliability increase and again 85 to 105. The cost also increased. Now 0 0.63 to 0 0.648. Reliability increase but here 105 to 100. The cost decreased. So I am going to remove this. So S3 will become this. Now you can see that S3 is having the maximum value 100 and the reliability is 0.648. Now by taking this data we need to determine how many of which machine we are going to purchase. Now we need to see from where we got this data. We got this data from S32. It means third device, two copies we have purchased. For one device the cost is 20, for two device the cost is 40. So from 100 we deducted 40, we got 60. Now we'll be searching for 60 in S21, 22, 23. Now you can see 60 we found in S22. It means two devices of D2 we are going to purchase. For each device the cost is 15. For two devices the cost will be 30. And from 60 if we we'll deduct 30, we are getting 30. Again we are going to search. 30 in S11 and S12. You can see 30 we got in S11. It means one device of D1. So you can see we are purchasing one device of D1, two device of D2 and two device of D3 within the cost of 100 and it is giving me an enhanced reliability. So this is how we are going to solve the problem for reliability design using dynamic program. I hope you understood. If you understood, give me a like and share among your friends. In our next video, we are going to talk about yet another application of dynamic programming. See you then. Take care. Bye.